Revelation is a awesome, awesome book. I'm 65 years old. I started reading the book of Revelation in my early 20s, and I was fascinated by it. And there is a promise of a blessing to all those who read it. And as a born-again Christian, one who believes, who is certainly not perfect, who still fails and sins and has, has to ask God for forgiveness every day. Repentance is a common theme. And repentance doesn't come overnight. As a matter of fact, what I have learned over the years is that God loves when people are humble, when they humble themselves before a awesome, powerful, gracious, loving God, and they come to Him and ask Him for help. What you need to do is, if you're in a situation where you have an addiction or you have a uh, behavioral problem, and you find it very difficult to change, listen up. You can't change on your own. Jesus said himself, apart from me, you can do nothing. Okay? Those words are in the Holy Scriptures. And I believe that. And these certain truths lead you to Christ and lead you to ask him, help you repent of whatever sin you are struggling with. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all sin. Yes, there are certain sins that are worse than others. Okay? Satan will do everything he can in his power to stop you from repenting. He'll throw all kinds of vicious, evil thoughts, seductive thoughts into your mind. Very powerful. From the moment you have consciousness in the morning till you pass out at night, he's on the attack. He does not want you to become the person that God wants you to be. So, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we're not fighting people. We're fighting a spiritual warfare. The fallen angels and the ranks thereof are out to destroy the human race and to drag every single soul to hell with them, because that's where they're going. They're going to the lake of fire, and their time is running out, running out very quickly, and they are fierce. When Satan was cast out of heaven into the earth, the Bible tells us, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, for Satan is cast down, and he has great wrath, he has great hate, for you and for me. He tried for years to destroy me through drug addiction. And only by the grace of God and prayers of a loving grandmother, grandfather, and the prayers of my parents, which they had no idea what I was going through at the time. I kept my own personal drug addiction hidden for years. They had no idea how bad it was. But... With the grace of God, here I am today witnessing to you. Hopefully someone out there can use this to strengthen. You know what? There's, there's something when you're hurting and you're in need of help and you are yearning for that help. When you talk to someone who's been there in the trenches, in the pain, in the guilt, in the in the suffering. It makes a big difference. Because you've been there. Oh, how I did suffer with the guilt. It was terrible. And I tell you, at the time, Satan never gave up. And I, I was weak. And living in the flesh. And not living in the spirit. Listen. The fight still goes on today, even all these years later. Am I perfect? No. I still fail. I still mess up and sin and have to ask for forgiveness. But thank God I'm not where I used to be. You know, that was a terrible, dark place. You know, I think of the people 
we're stuck in addiction today, whether it be cocaine or methamphetamines or pain pills or alcohol. There's so much out there. And I look and I see Satan having his way with all of these people. He's getting over on these people. He's having great success. But I want you to know, you don't have to remain where you're at. You can overcome anything like this that comes your way. Cry out to God. Humble yourself before God. Ask Him to forgive you and ask Him for help. Ask Him specifically to give you a repentant heart. Like I said before, you can't change on your own. You have to have God's help. God loves when his people humble themselves. God hates pride. Don't think that you can do it yourself because you can't. Oh, that's why Satan got kicked out of heaven. Pride. Pride goes before the fall. Don't think this program, that program, this doctor, that doctor, this book. No, it's your heavenly father. It's the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. That, in God's word, will deliver you. And you've got to be consistent in your prayer life. You've got to be consistent in uh, your relationship with the Lord. And getting in the word and reading it and meditating upon it all the time. And God will deliver you. He delivered me. No doubt about it. Pray for a repentant heart. Pray for help. God will deliver you. Satan will destroy you. He will devour you. He hates me. He hates this message. He doesn't want you to get it. Because I've been delivered for many years. I was so addicted to drugs. I was into the pornography and all the junk that goes with it. That just steers your life towards destruction. I was doing exactly what the devil wanted. Exactly. Now keep in mind. When you begin to change and to turn. You will be attacked. He's going to come at you. Things are going to be so blatantly obvious to you. That it's going to be hard to fight off certain temptations. But you can do it. You can do it. And if you fail, repent. Turn from it. Ask God for forgiveness. You know, the Bible talks about repentance. Jesus spoke about it. Unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. He's very serious about that. When someone really turns from their sin, God knows that they're serious. The Bible goes on to say that obedience is better than and sacrifice. God would rather have you obey him. To give him sacrifices. That's a profound statement. Obedience is better than sacrifice. That means, you know. You know, I think about the Ten Commandments. What is really God? What does God want? God wants a relationship with you. A loving relationship. Where he'll bless you. And help you. And keep you. And you know. This life down here is temporary. Once we pass from here. By whatever means. Cancer. Heart attack. Accident. That's when our real life starts. It's difficult at times. To focus on all these things. When we're here confined in this physical body. But this physical body. When we pass. Is going back to the earth. In our spirit, if we are born again by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Christ, we'll go to be with the Lord forever. And that, that's where real life begins. That's where true happiness and peace and life begins for us. Because you have eternal life. Isn't that something that you really desire? The Bible teaches us everything here on earth is fading. It's fading quickly. Look around. Wars and rumors of wars. Pestilence. Everything that Christ predicted is happening in this generation. In this generation. I'm here to tell you, look, this is not all. 
This is not everything. We've got so much to look forward to as believers in Christ. We have got so much life ahead of us. Don't lose it. Don't let Satan steal it from you. Jesus said these words, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What knowledge do you think he's talking about? His written word. His written word. You know, you look at the look at the Ten Commandments. You should read them. All of them. God wants us to be good to each other, to love one another, to forgive each other. Okay? He doesn't want us to steal. He doesn't want us to hurt anyone. He does, certainly doesn't want us to kill anyone. He doesn't want us fooling around with somebody else's wife or husband. Those are all reasonable commandments. You don't do those things if you truly love God. You honor Him by keeping His commandments. The Bible also says, Seek the Lord while He still may be found. So that tells us that there's coming a day when people are going to look for Him and He's not going to be here. God said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. So, seek Him. While we can, today is the day of salvation. And remember, no matter what you're going through, what kind of addiction it is, you're in a spiritual battle for your life. Remember that Satan is out to destroy you. Don't let him. Do not let him destroy your life. Pray that God would help you. He will deliver you. He will deliver you. God is greater than any problem known to man. God can and will deliver you if you are sincere in your heart and you reach out to him and you ask him to help you to repent. Pray for a repentant heart. Pray for change. Pray, say, God, help me be the person you want me to be. You, I cannot do that. I must have your help, and God will grant you that. He'll forgive you of your sins, and He'll help you. He'll bless you. Don't ever give up, because that's what the devil wants. Don't ever, ever, ever give up. God loves you. He wants a relationship with you that's loving, that's real, and that lasts forever in a place in eternity that's wonderful. It's coming for those who believe and those who receive Christ as their Savior, those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb. You can be there with Him and we can be together for forever. Not here. This earth is fading away. There's coming a new earth and it's going to be great. And I hope and I pray that you'll be there.